superstars of wrestling brings you another hour of excitement, thrills, and action. Hello, I'm George Cannon, and I'm welcoming all of you to another hour of superstars of wrestling, where you will see the very best in the sport of professional wrestling. Now let's go up to the ring where all the action and excitement is taking place. on superstars Billy Red Lions from Toronto, Ontario going against Bob Boucher. Long time since we have seen Billy Red Lions here on the Superstars of Wrestling. Still has a lot of spirit and a lot of spunk as he whirls Boucher into the corner. tussling with lines back and forth along the ropes. Oh, Boucher ready to come off. I'm trying to trip him and it doesn't work. Here they go, referee's position, Lions side headlock down to the mat goes Boucher. Very clever of Lions to hit the arm of Boucher. It mobilizes the left arm. Lions asks the referee, ask him if he'll give. Exciting performer, Billy Red Lions. Very popular in Ontario, New York State, North Carolina. Some of the more places, some of the places where he was more popular, I should say. Side headlock, Lions still holding on to Boucher. Boucher whirling him back. Off he comes. Tackle, down goes Boucher. Lions wheels him around, but the backside headlock. Red Lions now with that side headlock on Boucher at the mat. Lions applying a lot of strength. You can see those forearms bulging, muscles straining. Belly Red Lions, side headlock on Bob Boucher. A lot of hair covers the arm of Lions. And if hair was strength, Boucher would be a wild man. Lions holding on, sort of a front face. Side headlock, Boucher trying to work his way out with elbow smashes, forearm smashes. Punch by Lions takes care of that. Billy Red Lions back with the headlock, forearms to the side of the obliques. Here comes Lions off the rope. Back he comes, one tackle, down goes Boucher. Off the far rope, down goes Boucher, cross, hop, spit, turn around, side headlock. Boucher on the mat, Billy Red Lions. Billy Red Lions holding that uh, side headlock. Boucher and applying a lot of pressure. Boucher trying to come up off the mat. In actuality, Lions is doing what all wrestlers should do. Get one hold, keep working it, apply a lot of pressure, weaken your opponent, and finally finish him off with either a submission or a pin.
Lions holding on to that side headlock. Applying a lot of pressure there. Boucher with the hair, bringing Lions over, rolls him off. Off the ropes, one tackle, down with Boucher. Close ropes, over the top, far ropes, back he comes again. Hip toss, down goes Lions. Back up, hip tosses Boucher. Boucher back up. Lions moving in, but Boucher decides to drop it. Bold into the corner. <laughs> Referee's position sees Boucher with a side headlock now. Lions reverse his standing wrist lock. Hair and back was down Lions. Back Lions goes to the mat. Referee makes him break the hold. Boucher breaks it, takes it back again. Lions coming up, head into the turnbuckle. Lions stunned, going back. Resting on the bottom rope. Boucher with the head of Red Lions again in the far turnbuckle. Down goes Lions. Boucher making quite a fight of this match. Elbow to the top of the head of Lions stuns him. He wheels around the rope. Boucher back once again. Dropping the head of Lions into the turnbuckle. Right now, looks like Boucher is on his way to the victory here. He has Lions stunned. Side headlock once again. Here comes Lions trying to wind up Boucher. Boucher choking underneath when the referee goes to the far side. Staying with that choke. Four minutes remaining in his boat. Boucher weakening Lions. Boucher the underdog in this match. Lions the favorite. Right now, it looks like Boucher scooping Lions up. Body slam. Elbow. Boucher goes in for the press. One, two, Lions kicks out. Boucher more than irritated. He's hurt. He's mad. He's going up that side headlock once again. Lions trying to find room to wind him up. Boucher brings Lions into the corner. Into the throat, Lions out of the ring. Boucher drives Lions to the concrete floor. tries to get back up. Boucher moves over in on him. Across the back of the neck of Lions drives him back to the floor. the ropes punch to the jaw down goes Boucher here's the press kick out this is not over yet 
Whoa, Lions going for a foul driver. Cool Boucher strikes up much to the delight of the wrestling crowd. Here goes Lions in the atomic drop. Down across the knee, down goes Boucher. Here's the press. One kicks out again. Lions scooping Boucher out. Body slam. One. Once again, Boucher moves out. Whoa! Lions taps Boucher on the back like he has won the match. But Boucher is not going for it. Boucher is not falling for that old trick. Lions kicks out. Lions now grabbing the hammer. Boucher whips him across the ropes. Here comes Boucher off. Back top. Once again, one. Boucher kicks out again. This match is rapidly coming to a close. That's it. It's a draw. Billy Red Lions. Bob Boucher. Ten minute draw. Superstars of Wrestling returns to the Detroit area Saturday, May the 7th. And mark this down, it's the Joe Lewis Arena this time. Saturday, May 7th, Joe Lewis Arena. One of the exciting matches on that card, International Tag Team Championship action. Going into the ring, Lord Alfred Hayes, the mentor, and his wrestler, Billy Robinson. They make absolutely disgusting tea here. Well then, to get to a more serious a subject, Robinson has been the speculation recently of many critics of wrestling saying, is he the wrestler that he formerly was? Let me put your mind at rest. He is much better than he formerly was. Robinson is with me and everybody benefits by my presence. Now then, Dino Bravo, I know that at the moment you have the championship and you want to hold on to this championship and you'll do anything to hold on to including uh, conspiring with the authorities but don't forget uh, robinson uh, is a man of honor a man who is vastly superior to all other wrestlers and he is going to thrash you william tell them i don't think we need tell them anything lord you've said it all I'm just superior. The one thing Lord neglected to say is for a cup of tea that you don't like, you certainly seem to be enjoying it. I always enjoy tea, no matter how bad it is. Continue. I see. And what you're saying is this. Tea, no matter how bad it is, is still good. He's going to be Joe Lewis Arena, Saturday, May the 7th, when the superstars return with a great big card. Stay with us. We'll tell you more. The prochain match aura une durée de 10 minutes ou encore une chute. de New York à 270 livres avec son gérant Lord Alfred Hayes with Lord Alfred Hayes weighing 270 pounds from New York Superstar begins to save himself embarrassment and physical harm. Once again, the opponent declines. In this case, it's Louis the Palmer Lamont. Louis going in against Superstar. Louis behind brings Louis down to the mat right away and starts working him over. Covered press. Kick out. Ronce once again brought to the mat flying the mirror. Superstar looking to put on that cobra hole that he has. In the corner, and you can't 
see him on the screen right now. But the mentor, Lord Alfred Hayes, is clapping. And uh, with his smirk and subtle way of looking into the ring and saying, that's everything I told you to do. The superstar works a lot, it's over. Superstar was about six to seven inches out of the Rons, much the bigger of the two wrestlers. That would weigh Rons by about uh, 50 pounds. Giant of a man, very strong. Superstar working Rons over again with thrusts to the throat. Runs his head into the turnbuckle, stuns Lawrence. Uses the head to knock Lawrence to the mat. Now we can see Hayes on the left-hand side of the screen, slowly disappearing. Here he is again, Lawrence across the ring. Superstar. Double judo chop. Flying there. Some dead in his tracks. A knee to the chest and throat area of Laurence. Now he grabs Laurence by the arm, whips him off. Whoa, flying press. One, two, picks Laurence up. Very, very strong individual. Whoa, beautiful move by Superstar. One, two, picks Laurence up again. Down goes Lawrence. Here's that cobra hold. Ooh, a lot of pressure being applied there. That's it. One the foul in the match. Superstar and mentor Lord Alfred Hayes. And now an official announcement coming up. Superstars of Wrestling at Joe Louis Arena, Saturday, May the 7th. A little while earlier, we heard from Lord Alfred Hayes and his cup of tea. Now we're going to hear from the opponent of Billy Robinson, international champion, Dino Bravo, and he's going to put that belt on the line for you fans in Detroit who don't already know, Dino Bravo took the belt away from Billy Robinson, and he is now the international champion. And I must say congratulations right off the bat. Thank you very much, George. It certainly is a great feeling to... Uh have the championship belt, but uh, not too many times I, I can agree with Lord Alfred Hayes. I was listening to his I interview a moment ago, and, uh, and I have to uh, admit that uh, what he's saying is absolutely true. I've beaten Robinson. Uh, it was a 48-minute match in Montreal, and the only reason I beat him that night because at that specific time he was a little more tired than I was, and I took advantage of it. But it could have gone either way. But I have to also admit that Robinson is much more dangerous without that title. I, when he had that title, he was a little bit too much on the defensive side. But uh, Billy Robinson that's aggressive, uh, Billy Robinson that goes out there to get something that he figure he has to work to get back, I'm not talking about the championship belt, is a very dangerous Billy Robinson. I know that. I'm aware of that, Billy, and I want you to know it. I have a lot of respect for you. You're probably the greatest wrestler I ever wrestled in my life, and I have learned from wrestling you. Halford Hayes, it's easy to tell people what to do, but the work is going to be done in that ring in Joe Louis Arena, and believe me, I am going to get ready for that match, and I need all the tools that I can get to go out there and be able to defend that title. That people in Detroit are going to see a wrestling match that night, and that's what they're going to see. And believe me, Billy, I'll be ready for you. There you have it. Don't forget this date, the Joe Louis Arena, Saturday, May the 7th. Superstars of Wrestling returns with a great card, International Championship. See you there. Along with manager Bobby Heenan, who is uh, affectionately known as the Brain. 
Last week we seen Ken Patera literally destroy Jim Dart. Referee is telling Bobby Heenan to get out of the ring. <clears throat> this match is coming to you through the courtesy of videotape and once again trying to bring you the top talent from around the country to superstars of wrestling. We are able to bring you Ken Patera along with manager Bobby Heenan once again. And his opponent today is Green Kendall. Locking up in the referee's position, Kendall goes in with a side headlock. That shouldn't last very long as Patera works him over. Can't stay away from Patera very long. He's on top. If you look at the way the muscles rippling in his body, in his leg. United States Olympic representative Ken Patera making his living now as a professional wrestler and a darn good one at that. Brute strength, a lot of wrestling holds, good wrestling knowledge. Patera in a side headlock. Patera applying pressure now to Kendall's neck. Coming back up to his feet once again. Kendall pushing Patera into the corner. Comes off with a punch. Ooh, he shook Patera up that time. Patera didn't like it. I could hear him saying to the referee, I don't like it. And I think Rame is going to pay. Patera on the apron, jumping to the floor, using the ropes as leverage on Kendall's arm. Back in there now, arm bar, dragging Kendall down, stomping his head. Standing our bye by Ken Patera now on Graham Kendall. Patera dragging the arm right out of the socket, so it seems. While when Kendall comes back, raking the eyes of Patera, gets out of the hole, starts moving in on Ken. Side headlock. Brings Patera to the mat. Not for long as Patera coming out with a cradle, Bobby Heenan on the side, yelling instructions. Patera taking a little bit of direct instruction from Bobby Heenan. moving in, Patera grabs Kendall around the waist with a bear hug, drives him into the corner, into the turnbuckle, comes off a punch across the middle of the back of Kim, two, drags him back up again. Graham Kendall is finished right now, it's just a moment of time, it's clothesline, brings Kendall down to the mat, Bobby Heenan clapping, applauding, as Patera strikes a pose, bringing Kendall back up once again. Here he goes with that suplex. Down goes Kendall. Patera on top. One, two, three. Winner of the fall in the match, Ken Patera. Dans cette prochaine rencontre, ayant une durée de 10 minutes ou une chute, in this next bout, duration 10 minutes or one fall. Les adversaires, les voici sur le ring maintenant. D'abord, à ma gauche, présentez-vous. 